Hey everybody, Brian back again on pnbhomesteading.com and uh, wanted to show you the mids, or this is the salad bar LED area and uh, the regrowth of the, uh, the chards as well as the tomato plant that's, you know, hitting the bottom of the lights at this point this week. So let me grab the camera and walk you over. Now this tomato plant, it's uh, it's really taken off. I mean, it's, I mean, last week it wasn't touching the light. Now this week it's hitting the light and I'm having to kind of wrap it around it. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do when this thing, you know, gets, you know, another four inches taller because there's not going to be any light for it. But uh, it's flowering right now. So it's going to be setting fruit in probably, you know, another couple weeks. But uh, it's not getting burned by these lights. You know, these leaves that are, you know, pretty close, you can see they're not burning. So that's a good thing. But the chard has really regrown. You can see that it's nice and thick again and uh, needs to be harvested. So it's coming along. This new chard that I put down here in the front, it's uh, it's starting to come in. You know, it, it wasn't getting enough nutrients. I think the soil has pretty much had almost all of its nutrients at that point that I put these in, it was sucked out. So I put in a bunch of organic uh, fertilizer mix I picked up at uh, one of the garden stores that we buy our organic fertilizer from. And uh, hopefully that's gonna work its way down. And I can see that there's, there's a lot of new growth coming on these these little plants down below a lot of really dark green new growth so I'm happy to see that so that means these are gonna probably you know take off and they'll be up to the size of these back here in no time the uh, rainbow chard is really taken back off because I put that same fertilizer in here and uh, you can see there's a lot of a lot of healthy growth coming up through here a lot of new leaves that look really nice you know coming up through there and uh, there's a couple of really tall ones back there now so I don't know if I'm gonna I don't know if these are going to go to seed soon or not, but uh, usually when they get really tall and they got the leafy stuff on top, they'll start to bolt and go to seed. But I haven't seen any bolting or going to seed in any of this indoor grow stuff that I've got going with these trays all winter. So maybe it's just that time of the season where they're going to send up the seed heads. But I always thought chard was like a second season seed head. I'm not sure. I'm not positive. It's like one of those biennial seed heads like they do with beets where it's like if you let it go to seed the second year, it will actually produce the seed heads and then it will drop the seed for you. But who knows? I guess I could always look it up on Google. <laughs> but uh, that's kind of the uh, the update for the salad bar LED area. All right. Well, it's been Brian from B&B Homesteading. Hope you guys had a great weekend. And it's supposed to get sunny here in the Pacific Northwest because it was rainy and wet and kind of crappy weather for us here. But uh, I got to go out and do some gardening outside a little bit and clean up, getting ready for spring. And the pea seeds are sprouting. So... Uh, even with the colder weather we've had, it's starting to turn out to be a nice spring. All right, I'll talk to you guys again. Bye.